Welcome everyone. Looks like we have a couple people on right now. If anybody's on, can you give me something in the chat? Make sure you can hear me okay. Perfect, thank you, Adrian. Welcome everybody. I'm gonna give another give it another 30 seconds to a minute here. Um, but in the meantime, I'll introduce myself. Uh, my name is Sammy. I am on the client success team here at Lunchbox. I have been here for about five months now. Uh, and I have had uh, a, quite a bit of time now with, with my restaurant partners running through discounts and promos. So I'll be covering this today and hopefully can share some best practices with you that you can either take uh, you know, take internally um, or, or use on your own. Um, so I'll give another 30 seconds here, um, but just to, to reiterate, this is a feature training series um, that will be at least six parts um, every two weeks on Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern. And then we'll always make sure to uh, share this via our, our social channels and um, via uh, email once it has been recorded. All right, 102, I'll go ahead and get started here. So welcome everyone again, if you just jumped on, um, we're gonna go through discounts and promo codes and how the two correlate with each other. Um, I wanna, wanna preface too, I know that um, just within the restaurant industry and within Lunchbox, we use a lot of terms, discounts, promos, deals, wallets. Um, and so a lot of that can get a little jumbled, especially if you're trying to, to translate it to the rest of your team. So I'm hoping that this, uh, covers any any questions that you have about setting up discounts and promo codes. But if you do have questions at the end, um, because I'm solo today, if you could just drop them into the chat. On the very bottom, there's a button that says ask a question, uh, and I'll cover that at the very end. So we'll get started here. So what are we gonna cover today? We are gonna cover discounts, promo codes, the admin dash, so this is the Lunchbox admin dash, uh, discount be best practices, setting up the promo code um, that's linked to the discount, and then promo code reporting and where you can find information on redemption. Uh, and then I know Tommy mentioned this uh, two weeks ago during our first series training. We do have a resource center um, that is linked at the top here. Um, I, we can also share it at the, uh, the end of this call, um, but this is a really awesome way for, uh, if you do have questions regarding Lunchbox, to be able to source that information immediately. Um, obviously, we're always available to your your customer customer success manager and your um, our support team can help with questions. But if you're just looking for immediate uh, answers, we have an entire series of uh, documentation on pretty much everything that you will go through with Lunchbox. And then just want to start off, kick it off by saying the discounts we have available right now with Lunchbox and the POS systems that we uh, integrate with are buy one get one. Um, the percent off and then the dollar off. And I know um, quite a few restaurant partners are asking about combos. Um, combos are not yet supported, um, but we are working on it. All right. So first want to start off by making sure that everybody knows the, dis the difference between discounts and promos and where they live within the systems that you operate with. So um, how do they work together? A discount is created in your POS. Uh, it lives within your POS, meaning it's available both within your POS dash and then also your point of sale in store. Um, once created, that discount will be imported to Lunchbox. So that's how we talk to your point of sale. Um, the discounts that you create must be enabled within your POS to work with the loyalty program if you are on Lunchbox loyalty. Uh, and I'll go into a lot of detail about this um, just to uh, just to make sure that everybody is aware of the boxes that need to be checked um, in order to enable this. And then the last two things regarding discounts is that you only need to create one discount per promotion or campaign that you're running. Um, you don't have to create a promo code for a discount. Um, when you do not create a promo code for a discount, obviously how it works is it's just available to everybody based on whenever you enable it. And then we'll go on to promo codes. Um, so the first half of this will be regarding discounts and then we'll connect that to promo codes. But promo codes are created in Lunchbox. Um, and this is just the rule of thumb. Even if you have promo code fields within your point of sale dashboard, just create them within Lunchbox. Um, most all settings will be updated in Lunchbox with the exception of um, some simple settings in your POS. So um, promo codes are linked to the imported discounts from your POS. Um, the ability to create redemption limitations and per, uh, per promo code 
is an option within the Lunchbox dashboard. And multiple promo codes can be created for one promotion. And I'll touch on this at the very end. Um, this is a really great way uh, to be able to use one discount, um, have multiple promo codes for your sales channels. So say you're using uh, Facebook, you're using Instagram ads, and then you're using an email campaign and you want that discount to be linked to three different promo codes, you can have stipulations for each of those promo codes linked to one discount. So how would you set this up in your in your POS? Um, so I'm gonna use Toast as the example here because I think most commonly partners are using Toast. Um, we will cover more um, regarding other POS systems too, but most of these rules are the same. And um, you're gonna navigate to your point of sale dashboard. You're gonna create your discount. Once you've created your discount, you're gonna confirm that you've targeted the correct locations or the correct restaurant group. So for Toast, they have this target section um, I have a note here that says it's correctly targeted because this specific discount is only going to be for Upper Crest Brookline. Um, you'll also have fields within your POS dashboard that uh, indicate discount type. So if that's a fixed percentage off and you want that to be basically a free item, and then you'll set it to 100%. And then the last thing is that uh, you want to make sure that you're obviously applying it to the correct item. So if it's a discount for just any item in your system, um, you can select any item, entire check, obviously the full check, uh, and specific items in groups. I will mention this as well, but this will all be set if it's a specific item or group will be set within Lunchbox, not your point of sale. Um, so even if you have a field within your point of sale, make sure that you just do everything in Lunchbox. And then obviously the most important thing is to make sure that you save and publish changes to your point of sale uh, first. So within the Lunchbox admin dash, um, if you're not yet familiar with it, there is a, a navigation bar on the left. Um, you should have access as an admin to the discount section. That discount section is going to open up this page here that says search for discounts. And so from there, you'll see this button at the very top of the screen that says sync with your point of sale. And that is basically what you need to do every single time you create a discount. You need to make sure that you're syncing Lunchbox with your point of sale so we can pull in that discount and then you can set up either the promo code or the uh, limitations to that discount. So I think that's, that's the one thing we run into most commonly is that uh, things weren't correctly synced. So just make sure that that is always a, a rule of thumb if you're going through. And then we'll go on to uh, what it looks like to search for a discount. So. Um, if you are navigating within the desk discount section, there's gonna be three sections that you can search for a discount that you've just created. Um, one of those is gonna be by name, um, by code is gonna be by promo code. So if you're trying to search for a discount that you created previously that already has promo codes attached to it, that's where you would use code. Uh, and then POS GUID is gonna be the most common uh, indicator of um, being able to find a discount. So just, for me, I always use POSI GUID as the, uh, as the source of truth. So you'll see here too. So once I have clicked into this discount here on the, the bottom, you'll be taken to a larger screen where you'll see a lot of settings within that specific discount. Um, and there are a lot of fields here. So if at any point in time um, you have more questions on this, please just drop them into the chat and I'll make sure to cover it and, and revisit it at the end. Um, and some of this we are working to clean up too. So if you do have any questions about what each of the sections means, just let us know. Um, but I'll start with the days of the week. So days of the week are gonna default um, to all days, days of the week. So if you have a promotion that's only running on Tuesday, Tuesday night, uh, make sure that obviously you select Tuesday. If you have a start date and end date for this promotion, um, the start date is going to be the day that promotion starts. So I think this is this is the 5th of August. We want to make sure that uh, that the promotion for this Monday was set for August 2nd. If I am running a week-long promo this week, I want to make sure that the end date for this promo, if it's running until Friday evening, is going to actually be Saturday's date. So that would be the uh, 7th. So that's just one thing to note here about start date and end date is making sure that this actually the end date includes the next day that the promo is no longer available. And then hours you'll set, these hours are going to be set based on um, based on your, your store's um, time. So what you'll do here is actually, um, if there is a, 
if there is a time, sorry, distractions in the background, uh, if there is a time in which you need to set this discount, you will make sure that that is in the time that your store is available. Uh, and the last thing is order type availability, first order only and allows for multiple use. And the order type of availability, again, that will default to available for all methods of order type. So unless you select pickup, delivery, dine-in, or table kiosk, the default is that it's available on all of those platforms. Um, the, the last few things here, first order only. First order only is going to be for that guest's first order only. And then for allows for multiple use. The, the last section here, um, this is commonly um, mistaken for um, like total guests used, but this is actually per guest for one single guest that has uh, used this discount. You wanna know how many times they're actually gonna be able to apply it. So if one guest can apply that discount three times total during the time that you are running that discount, that is where you would select allows for multiple use and then select three below. And I'll pause there, see if there are any questions in the chat. All right. Go on to number six here. So this is, um, if you are running specific item or menu group discounts, um, there's an important step here. And like I had mentioned before, sometimes there are fields within your POS dash that indicate add the items here. Um, for the sake of making this very easy for you to be able to quickly track it, do all of that within Lunchbox. And so what you're going to do is add the items, say that um, I'm a coffee shop, say I am Foxtail Coffee because I see Garrett here online. I'm Foxtail Coffee and I'm running a, uh, a promo for cold brew. I would add the items. I would search for the POS GUID. So what I would do is grab that GUID from Toast, drop it in here, search and then select the item that is going to apply to that promo, add that item, and then you should be done. Um, and then the last one thing to mention, if you are running BOGOs, I think these are a little bit less common, but if you are running a BOGO, um, make sure that you include all items that are a part of that promo. Um, so if you have you know, one item, say you, it's a fries and a drink, make sure that you're including both of those within the system. All right, and then I'll go to onto step seven here. Um, step seven, you want to make sure that you're enabling this discount. And this is, I just want to reiterate, this is probably the most common um, concern that we run into when, when a partner is trying to set up a discount code. So what you'll want to do is make sure that you navigate to that discount within the Lunchbox dashboard. Um, you want to make sure that not only have you enabled it everywhere, but you've also targeted the correct locations within that discount. So I'm um, kind of taking it back to the very first slide where I mentioned that you wanna make sure that the target in the, the target store or the, the promo that you, or sorry, excuse me, the discount that you created is attached to the correct store. This is how you would know that that discount is attached to the correct store. And so commonly what we'll see is that accidentally, uh, you know, one location has been switched off and that causes some guest errors. And then the last few things I just want to note, because I have run into this quite a few times, um, it's really important to note that for any restaurant that is using Lunchbox loyalty, um, and what Lunchbox loyalty means is, you know, sign up bonuses, birthday bonuses, credit back, anything like that. Um, you want to make sure that you're actually able to toggle the things within discount, within the discount within your POS to allow other discounts to be applied. And what that basically means is here's an example of toast um, underneath the advanced settings section of toast. It's, it's actually um, it's hidden. So you'd have to actually select into it. You want to check this box, allow checked level or BOGO discounts to be co combined with other discounts of the same type. And that means that if I am a guest and I have a sign up bonus of $5 in my account, um, when I select this, I'm not only able to apply that $5 discount, but I'm also able to get the promotion that you are running for that time. Um, and I've set up uh, just a few others if you're using Revel or if you're using Brink. Um, the, there's different uh, settings for each of those for Revel. The order type needs to include online ordering, so that's within the promotions that you're running. And then for Brink, um, this would be check, check to allow to check uh, the prior discount, check to allow the later discount, and 
discounted items are eligible. And then just to, I just want to reiterate again, because I know this is common. If you do not do this and you are running a promotion and you do not select the correct settings within the discount in your POS dash, um, guests will run into issues with um, any earned loyalty that they might have in their lunchbox account. And then I just want to, I talked about this in the last slide, but again, I know there are a lot of different uh, platforms that, that our restaurant partners are using. And so want to make sure that I'm um, correlating the two. So within a POS dash, you'll see either the target group or the location that you're targeting for a discount. How that shows up on the Lunchbox admin dash is location availability. So you can very quickly check, is this, is this a discount targeting all of the locations that I want to run? Um, by, by going from here, syncing, and then going into Lunchbox and checking the location availability underneath the discount. And then one last thing here, just trying to correlate back to a couple different dashboards that I know our partners are using. Uh, discount type, buy one, get one. Um, you can see what type of discount you had selected within your POS within the Lunchbox dash here. So you select type, BOGO, percentage is 100% off. And then the last thing regarding discounts, since I just threw a ton of information at you, um, I just wanna reiterate the steps in Lunchbox that you would take in order to set up a promotion. So we've gone through what you would do on the POS. You would set up your PO within your POS dash um, the discount, make sure that that discount has the allowed to um, be used with other discounts. You want to make sure that you save and publish that discount in your POS. Then you're gonna head over to Lunchbox dash click into discounts, make sure that that uh, sync happens. So that button is crucial to sync that POS to your admin dash, your lunchbox admin dash. You can search for your discount once you've done that, um, set any additional discount settings. So that would be this slide here. Make sure that you have everything set here and then enable the discount, so toggle to turn it on. So you can create multiple discounts, have them sit there, and then just toggle them on when you need fit too. And then I know that I am probably beating a dead horse here, but troubleshooting, com confirm that you have published the discount in your POS, don't forget to sync. Confirm that everything is enabled within the discount and location level in Lunchbox, Lunchbox's dashboard. And then item-based discounts, so one very quick thing to note, if you are adding items to the Lunchbox dashboard, um, you want to make sure that you have the correct item GUID in Lunchbox. So you would take that, um, that GUID number in your POS and then plug it in to this section here. All right. I actually think I'm going to pause here for a second and see if anybody has questions, anything? Nothing yet. Awesome. All right, we'll go ahead on to discount or to promo codes. So from promo codes, um, again, reiterating promo codes would be connected to the discount in Lunchbox. You'd set up a promo code by heading to the discount section of the Lunchbox admin dash. Uh, you'd select the discount that you're looking to apply that promo code to. And then you would go ahead and create a promotion. So. Um, if you'd like a guest to unlock, and this is not required, if you have discounts, obviously you can use them without any promo code, um, but you want to make sure that uh, you don't create that promo code in your point of sale, that you're always creating it within Lunchbox. Okay, and this this is the field that gets kind of crazy and, and usually where we run into some questions. And so um, if there are additional questions, please let me know, but I'm going to try my best to explain everything here. Um, the name at the very left-hand side is going to be the internal name. So that is not visible to the guest. Um, that's a way for you to be able to denote internally what kind of promotion you're running. Um, the description and call to action, um, this is visible to the guest and uh, it can be saved on the uh, guest profile. And if we head to the right-hand side of the screen, what I mean by save to the guest profile is Say you have um, a free drink promotion that you are running and you'd like this guest to be able to um, redeem this at any point in, in their guest life cycle. You can actually have them save this within uh, the reward section to be applied at a later date. 
Um, and this is very common for both like, you know, free drinks or free items of some sort, and also um, some type of birthday promotion that you might be running. And then we'll go down uh, to the very, to step two here on the left-hand side that says choose a promotion redemption type. Um, and one of the things that we also run into is, is questions about what um, unlimited and limited means. Um, if you remember, I had touched on uh, multiple use in the discount code or discount section. Um, this is different than multiple use. What this means is that basically, if I was running a promotion, um, the first 100 people could redeem this promo code. Um, if I'm going back to the discount section of the admin dash and uh, I'm clicking into multiple use, what that means is that individual guest would be able to redeem this discount, whatever amount of times that you set. So just want to clarify, because I think that's a very, very common um, misconception and something that we're, we're going to clarify in future, future iterations of the admin dash. So if you want this to be limited, you just set the redemption limit. Um, say you're creating a promo code for one person as, um, as some type of uh, sorry, then you can create that redemption limit at one. And then the last step here is going to be create my own or generate for me promo codes. Um, most commonly, people are using, uh, our restaurant partners are using create my own. Um, Generate for me is really useful for what I had mentioned at the very beginning of this. If you have tons of channels that you are um, using this promo code and you want to tie this promo code to tons of channels, um, you can have us generate on, on your behalf. And then the last thing to touch on here too is, is promo code and discount reporting. Um, I know that in the summit last week, we talked about our um, our timeline with updating a lot of the reporting. So this is how it stands right now, but we are working to uh, improve promo code and discount reporting as a whole. Um, but if you do have questions in the meantime about promotions that you're running um, and you wanna know how many, how many times X promo code was redeemed, um, what you'll do is you'll head to the discount. So you'll go to the admin dash discounts, search for the discount, click into the discount at the very bottom where you had initially created that promo you're going to see that there's a usage and a revenue generated from that usage. And so you can have multiple promos here that are from what, that one discount, like you had mentioned, and you can um, basically compare the, the usage and revenue generated from each of those promotions tied to that one discount. Uh, this, the secondary way that you can see um, that there are redemptions on specific discounts is in your sales report tab. Uh, and the sales report tab will show you um, both discounts, loyalty, tip, any gift cards that were redeemed for that time. And then the last thing is, um, if you do see guest inbounds about um, you know application to the discount or confusion about application to the discount, it's very easy to quickly either check the guest's um, order order history or check the guest's um, profile to see if the order that they had just made actually had a discount applied to it. So in this case here, you'll see that this promo code was entered and the discount was applied. And then obviously, I just wanna close out here. We're always here to help. If you have uh, if you have a CSM that is uh, dedicated to you at this point in time, um, you can reach out to them. Um, you can reach out to our support team at help at lunchbox.io um, or chat with us at the uh, via the admin dash at admin.lunchbox.io. And then again, the resource center is, is a great way to be able to quickly find information regarding any operations that you might have with Lunchbox in your point of sale. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing at this point in time and head over to the chat and see if there's any other questions here. Awesome, nothing else. Well, thank you. Thanks so much for joining today. Um, I will uh, make sure that our team is able to uh, send this out within the next week. Um, all of these sessions are recorded. And like I mentioned, we post them through our channels. Um, they will be up on the Resource Center and they will be emailed out to uh, current restaurant partners. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for joining.